In the previous session, we have learned about central tendency and how to find the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, quartiles of a list through Python code. But in this session, we will decode how to find the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, and quartiles of a matrix. So as shown here, we'll create our matrix and we'll import the uh, libraries from scipy import stats and like import numpy is empty, we'll execute this by control enter now if you want to find the mean suppose if you find the want to find the mean then we have to simply give np dot mean the mean is 3.22 so if you add up all these okay 1 to 4 and divide by 9 it will be 3.22 now if you want to find the median Now, how do we get the median first of all? So we have the number here 1, 2, four. numbers are nothing but this. Now we will sort these numbers. So 1, 1, 1, 2 is 3 times, then 3 is 1 time, then 4, 5, 9. Total here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, from 1 to 9, which is the middle number? 5th. So, the 5th number here is 2. So, the median is 2. Now, if you, if you want to find the standard deviation, then np.st and give matrix. The standard deviation is 2.39. Now, if you want to find the variance, np.var. Okay. So we can easily find the mean, median, mode, uh, mean, median, standard deviation and variance. But it's slightly different for percentiles. Now, what is percentile? Percentile, there are four, three things. One is the lower uh, lower uh, quartiles, which is 25 percentage. Then the 50 percentile, which is the median. 75 percentile, which is the upper quartile. Okay. And then, if how do we calculate it? the lower percentile np dot percentile so the lower first you have to write matrix comma and then you have to give 25 now how do we get this 25 now our number here is this is our the sorted number now in this which is our middle fifth this value fifth here this corresponds to 2 now from 2 to 1 how many numbers are there 5 now out of this number which will be the middle this 2 so that's why our lower quartile is 2 now if you want to get the upper quartile np dot 75 so what should be the upper quartile what value sh uh, should we get let us guess not guess let us work it out from the code so the middle number is 2 so from here till the last number which is the middle value 4 4 is the middle value here so if we execute this number so we can see 4 now if we again how to find the if see median what is the median value here median we have calculated it came as 2 so even from here also we can the middle value is 2 itself so we don't have to calculate that if we give np dot comma 25 comma axis is equals to 0 so we can see here if we give the axis is equals to 0 it means the array 1.5 1.5 and 3 is there so how this uh, array will be uh, generated it will be generated as follows now from here you take 1 3 2 so which is the uh, which are the two smallest number 1 and 2 1 and 2 right 1 plus 2 divided by 2 is 1.5 again for the second column okay which are the two smallest number 1 and 2 again so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 now the for the third column which are the two smallest number 2 and 3 uh, 2 and 4 2 plus 4 is how much 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 so we can get the lower quartile if we give axis on uh, again the same if what if we give axis is equal to 1 if we give axis is equal to 1, then this is the output. 
So how do we get this value? In that case, you have to see this, take this row. First row, 2 plus 1 is how much? 3. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. For the next row, which are the two smallest numbers? 3 and 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 by 2 is 2.5. Now, in the last row again, which are the two smallest numbers? 1 plus 2. So, 1 plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 point. So, this is how we give, we evaluate if we give uh, axis is equal to 0 or 1. And if we don't give the axis, then it will calculate the median of the entire. Now, we have evaluated mean, median, mode, uh, mean, median, standard deviation, and percentage. How do we calculate mode? Now, what if we try to give and we thought is there anything called mode there's no mode there's more so how do we calculate more for mode it's a separate thing how to evaluate the so we already have our matrix now we already have uh, imported stats from scipy so what if if you want to evaluate the mode we have to stats of the matrix if we evaluate this what we have we get one one two okay now what is the matrix here matrix is one three uh so in the first column if you see which is the smallest number one so here it is one in the second column which is the smallest number one again so here we have one and in the third column we have so and also you can see one is repeated in this column for one one time again here in this column one is repeated just one so this call uh, this array corresponds to that occurrence now what if we give axis is equals to zero if we give axis is equals to zero it's default like matrix and again what if we give axis is equals to one so in this case we'll see axis is equals to one so how we get the value one to one here so you take the lowest of this one to four so this one will come again you take the lowest of three five two this two will come and again you take the lowest of two one nine and all the occurrence is one so what uh, what we will do we'll again take this okay one more thing stats dot mode comma axis is equals to none so in this case the entire the overall mode of this is two and it is being repeated thrice one two three this is for the entire mid okay and whatever we have calculated here for axis zero that is for the row wise and the column wise now what if we change our matrix just to have a proper understanding instead of five we will give again one i fix the q this for the first column the lowest number is one so here it comes one the for the second column lowest number one and it is repeated twice so two and for the third column lowest number is two and it is being repeated one now what if we change this two by three now if there is the single repetition of all the numbers then the lowest number is taken but if there is a number which is being repeated multiple times in that case what will happen and though it is not a lowest number of that column or that row so in this case the very first column it is being repeated twice three is repeated twice so the mode result is three two, one is repeated twice so two and then followed by two so this is the way how we will calculate the mean median mode and status mode which is very important percentile standard deviation and the variance thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this uh, video is helpful please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel if you think uh, i am doing some any uh, any place my execution is incorrect please post in the comment section also if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section thanks a lot